Let's have check me one time for the one. Time. And you know we always interview special people, the best of the best people that's moving, people that's grooving, people that's doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? We got a young lady that we've been rocking with for a little minute, been posting her since she really slick started freestyling. From my understanding, am I right, Resident African? Man, this girl has been rapping since been rapping since been rapping. She was rapping when, you know, Santa Claus and the 12 Doors, they was doing what they was doing. The 12 who? The 12 who? Yeah. You, mix, Resident African, you can't mix up cartoons? He, don't, he doesn't they know how hell. this American thing works. No, but, you know, the dwarves were, they were rapping. The wait, present. wait, first of all, they're called dwarves. The dwarves. Yeah, and they're so not I with said, Santa Claus. I said dwarves. You said doors. <laughs> Anyway. Hang on, man. Rini Rucci's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Big Rini. I'm on 107.9. Yeah, hell I'm yeah. I'm with the Dirty Boys. Hey, you dirt. So, look, so when did, when did, how long you been actually rapping, man? You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't. I, we've been kind of posting you for a long time. After we, what freestyle did we see that she did first? She did something to Money Bag Yo. Um, yeah. I forgot the name of the song. It was the biggest it was freestyle. When, um, the biggest one was the little baby one I did after. But the Money Bag Yo challenge. It was. Um, when they was making a challenge out of it, uh-huh. I just was like, that was like the I'm first do the one, challenge. Right? That was the first one. Yeah. And you guys posted my first one. Right. Yeah. So y'all been rocking with me since day one. Here you yeah. talking about. Yeah. So you can men, men never switch up then. Never. Okay. So make a show. you can make the 20% out to DJ Cash. <laughs> <laughs> and they can get the rest. See how my boy don't even have me in there. Mean, you see how he did? He didn't have none of y'all. So, I so, thought it was Dirty Boys. <laughs> right. I, I'll pay them after. I'll get them their cut. He's dirty after Boys and one check. New York nigga. Yeah. That's what it's called. <laughs> so, so look, so, uh, so I, what made you start rapping? Like, You know what I'm saying? Was it something that you always wanted to do or what? Um, I'm not going to say rap necessarily was something I always wanted to do. I've always been a good writer, Um, whether it be poetry. I wrote in our school's newspapers when I was younger. You know, so I've always enjoyed writing. It's very therapeutic to me. Um, And listening to music is therapeutic. So I'm like, you know, why not try it? And somehow or another, I have always been presented with an opportunity to pursue being an artist. Mm. So I was finally like, I'm going to be for real this time and just Take it try it. What like, kind of poetry did you write? Did you write angry poetry? It just or depends. did you write like, like th- about it's love? Therapy. So whatever I'm feeling right there, oh. like it just depends. So you were like, the me. moon is gone and I am back. <laughs> 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 you was doing that type of poetry, no, or no, you was doing no. like? I don't know if y'all familiar. It used to be a website, um, like hip hop poetry and stuff like that. Like I remember that. Yeah, I used to like stuff like that. That's my thing. Um, not the, yeah. <laughs> not, not all. You know, we ain't full blown. <laughs> right. But um. It's just always been therapeutic. I, I've really been an artist, seriously, for a year and a half now. Okay. Um, Which is, I signed a year and a half ago, Uh, everything I did before then, which is crazy because I've been an artist a year and a half, and this is my first project with original music. Wow. So everything been freestyles? Yeah. So what can we look forward with this project then? Um... Because, like, you, I mean, because you're a pretty girl, you know what I'm saying? You know, you be, I yeah. see you look with a little twerk, and your yeah. outfits be kind of revealing. Well, you, you know, know a little bit. You be having that ass out a little bit. I do. Rainy. I do. I can't I just, hide it. Okay. I'm just making sure you know that. Even if I Why cover it you? up, you're gonna see it. <laughs> okay. But um I'm I'm still gonna be true to who I am. Right. Um anybody who was following me before know I came from the strip club. Um, you know my backgrounds, whatever. Like I'm not gonna get strip? into being an artist and act like that's not a part of me or that didn't make me who I am. Right. It is. You know, I could tone it down a little bit, but when need be. Right. If I'm not doing no mom and pop shows, Ass is out. Ass is out. <laughs> Ass is out. Okay, so 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 when the rapping started going, you just like, you know what? It's time for me to put up my stripper boots. No, um, how I stopped dancing, I didn't even decide to stop dancing. Uh, when rap started picking up, I was getting booked for shows instead of like, cause I used to get booked to dance, cause I like did a lot of poetry tricks and stuff. Right. I wasn't having free weekends to go to the clubs to dance, so it was like I'm just a rapper now, and right. I didn't even know it. Like, kind of just shifted out. Yeah. So I never really um. Stopped dancing, which is crazy because this weekend is Black Bike Week and I'm doing my last dance officially. Wow. And it's the night that my first official project drops. So it's dope. So you about to, and this is called Big Rennie. Yeah. So are, are you keep? Are you going to have a jewelry on? Are you going to really like yeah. show off on them hoes when yeah. you're out there? Okay, somebody need to be with you in case that thing oh, drop, okay? You know, wolf Pack. Okay. You know how, <laughs> you know how we wolf pack is in the building. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you have so many um stigmas, I guess, to like overcome or... I don't know how to word it, I guess. Like, okay, because number one, uh, you're a freestyler. You, well, you got known from freestyling. And they always say freestylers don't make good song. People who freestyle don't make good song. And then you're a dancer transitioning to an artist. 
So it's like a lot of stigmas that you got to overcome. Like, do you, do you feel any pressure I'm to say do the so? The dancer one to me would be the most challenging one to overcome. Right. Simply because the first thing they do now, before it was like a negative connotation to go with you dancing. Now right. that's not anymore. Now the first thing they say is you're trying to be like somebody else. Like that's right. the biggest thing. So you have to fight that crowd, you know, before they even take your music seriously. Because right. they're automatically comparing you to somebody who used to have the same career as you. I'm not even going to call it, you know. I'm going to say career because we on the radio. But you know what I mean. Who right. used to trap the same yeah, way I did, right. you know. So y'all just assuming before you even listen to my music or see what, what's, what I'm bringing as an artist. Oh, she's just doing it because old girl made it out the strip club right. doing this. Like, But you know what's so crazy? Like, I, I think a lot of people forget how many... Female artists used to be strippers. Eve. Trina. Yeah. Like, th- this is nothing. Then Kim used, to, Kim used to damn near strip. She might as well. Stripping might as well. She should have. Yeah. Back to my outfits. Okay. Kim <laughs> paved the way. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about all the women that's popping right now? Because it's like a, like, we we always, like, notice, like, this right now is, I think, one of the biggest female, female waves, yeah. oriented yeah. part of hip hop that we mm-hmm. ever seen. Yeah. Sure. Ever. Like, it's really selling records. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Really having big sold out shows. I would say that were actually really talented. Yeah, like, yeah. I agree. And not trying to like cap or just I trying agree. to get over I on agree. their looks or whatever. Like they're actually talented. talented. I really yeah. enjoy li- like having so many females to listen to because you know like for a long time it was like only one girl you listen to or right. like maybe two chicks out. But like it's refreshing to be able to go to a playlist and it's guys there, but you got a different female artist here and that's fire. You got a different female artist here. I enjoy it. Like and I wish. And hopefully it'll happen. Like we could be more like the men and mm. um work together. Cause mm. if we really all work together, like it could be bigger than what is right now. Well, but you might be the glue for that because it's like I think since since we've interviewed we've interviewed a lot of females and you might have been might have been one of the only ones that actually said that more females should actually even work together. Cause that's that's I, I think <clears> we heard it before, like from what prima donna and stuff like that. Yeah, when prima the donna whole, definitely, when they prima was, donna when they, definitely definitely when the tapped was in going on, on it. with yeah. Nikki and uh, Cardi. Yeah, prima donna de- definitely tapped in on it. And like, yeah. but that's 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 what we need more of is more females actually advocating for the female that's, kinship. But and that's my honest, even if I wasn't an artist, I would feel that way with what's going on right now. Just because like that, I feel like that's that's how guys dominate. That's right. how they like. The producers, the artists, like whatever, everybody links up and one hand washes the other. Right. You know, it's it's business. But if I help you out, I can help myself out too. You got a crowd I'm not reaching to. I could tap into your audience, you tap into mine. Right. Like we could get this money together. I just feel like if females did that, the sh- it could be big. Right. It's big, but you know what I mean? Like colossal. Right. So now, do you write your own music? Yes. You write your own raps? Because yes. I think that's like. A big misconception. I think for everybody female thinks artists. females, all female artists, yeah. don't write their raps. Like, yeah. like they stop making pen and paper for men. But do you think sometimes <laughs> that that might be the the reason why sometimes they don't like female artists don't collab? They don't want somebody to know that somebody's writing for them. Or... I mean, I feel like it shouldn't matter. Like, if if somebody want to come do a song with me and she don't write her raps, like you know how she get her money ain't got nothing to do with me. But if it's a good business move for me, I'm gonna do it. Right. Like, or you can write. Or you write it for her and you get 100 percent of that. Be fire. <laughs> like, that's but uh, when you say 100 percent of it, that's if you know the business. Right. Because a lot of people don't know the business, right. so you don't know if you write the whole song, you're gonna get the publishing for it. Like a lot of people don't know that because they are just artists right. or they didn't pay attention to that part. Um, which is why I'm blessed to be a part of the team that I am a part of because you know business is first, and I know my business, and that's how we come. In. Right. So, so what three what three girls artists, uh, female rappers, do you uh, enjoy listening to? Right. Present. That you rock with right now. Um, Megan, of course. Uh, Cardi, definitely, and City Girls. Of all time, though. Of all time, yeah. Of course, Missy, Lauren Hill. I'm gonna say Lauren Hill because she is a rapper. She yeah, she's a rapper. She's, 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 a singer, but she's a rapper. Um, and if I had to pick another one, this would be like my swap number. Like I could swap these out. Sometimes. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Eve. Eve. Swap her out for who? Eve and Kim. Oh, okay. I'm saying like. Oh, you can alternate those yeah. two. Yeah, okay, like I okay. can't stick to just one of them. Okay, like okay. I have to, in some kind of way, have both of them in that. Okay. There, right there. So like Eve is Eve. When I was a little girl, Eve was like one of my favorite artists to listen to. Seriously, Eve? Yeah. Just because of her attitude, like I felt like when she was rapping, she wasn't thinking of herself as a female. She wasn't. She was she just, was going, just in. going. But she like, never. She never embraced her dancer history. Why do you think that is? I don't think she ever like. 
shunned it either. To this day, like if you bring it up to her, it doesn't seem like she'll talk about it. I, I think she I, did I, speak I think on back it. Back then, it was it was kind of shunned was, upon. Yeah, like, it was like it's, it's it was the thing more. you don't talk about now. Atlanta girls are celebrities. <laughs> Atlanta didn't put it on when the they dance. <laughs> if you're a dancer, you a you a socialite. Like exactly. Then you know it they was still that more than negative nowadays. connotation to go with it. Like oh, she's a stripper. Like you whisper about that stuff right there. Now right. girls dance by their real names. Mm, it's it's no more secrets about it no more. So it's completely different. I feel wait, wait, like so it, what was your dancer name? Rennie. Rennie, same thing. Yeah. So what's Where'd your, your name, name come from? Courtney. 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 You look like a Courtney. Mm -hmm. where, where yeah, you, you definitely look where, like Courtney. Courtney. Where did the Rennie? Where did the Rennie Rucci come from? My name is Renee. Okay. And, um, the way it's pronounced, well, the way it's spelled, people would pronounce it wrong because it's R E N E, so they would say it Ooh, wrong. Nice and ghetto. <laughs> So so look, like so so God forbid, like the music don't work. You know what I'm saying? Do you would you feel pressure to go back to dancing? Like what would you what was what was your out out goal before rapping? Um well the music is gonna work first. Okay. Let's put that out there. But hypothetically. Yeah. Um I wouldn't say pressure to go back to dancing because uh men fall off in the music game every day and go back to the block. Right, right. So it's it's no different. However, I got I have kids, I have responsibilities. Whatever I gotta do to take care of mine, I'm gonna do that. So I don't you, you care what nobody first. else gonna say. Right. That y'all, y'all opinions don't feed me. Right. So if I'm back in the club, if I'm at Walmart greeting you at the door and checking your receipts, Heard it doesn't you. matter. Like uh, so, I'm gonna get my money. So do you feel like that like dancing? Because I feel like like when I when I first started working in strip clubs, like meeting dancers and talking to dancers, that it's a different hustle than the regular girl that works at nine to five. Oh yeah. It's definitely. it's a little bit more it's way more grimy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Way. You gotta deal I, with a lot more. I tell my team all the time, I really appreciate the strip club more than anything now because it weathered me for a lot of things that I put up with in this industry. Um it gave me the tough skin that I needed. Uh, rejection doesn't bother me. Like, things people say don't bother me. The cattiness sometimes doesn't bother me. And I appreciate the strip club for that because that's where I learned it. Right. Like, I, the strip club is like. <laughs> right. It, 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 you either sink or drown. Yeah. I mean, Overall, do people <laughs> try to shame you? Um, I you know, think when, that, I, first, when I first people... came out as an artist, that's right. what it was. It was like a lot of shame. But now, like. The bigger the following is, and like the more music mm -hmm. I put out, the more people get to know me as an artist, as a person. I try to be very transparent, so the more people get to know about me, they kind of like accept it. Like even the ones who don't agree with that way of making money, they just like accept it. Like, oh, you know, she just she did what she had to do, right? And, and had not necessarily had, but that's the jo the choice I made, and I made the best of it. Right now, see, a lot of people don't know. Like you, you kind of like a country girl. Like mm -hmm. you, you ain't just a regular light skinned pretty hair. I'm a real country. Okay, girl. she said when we was off air, she said she cut grass. Okay, I'm that's true. Lawnmower. So, so you so do you still enjoy cutting grass? Yes. Is that something like that? Just like that's part of you. Yeah. You, I don't if, believe that, man. I don't care man. how big my house is. You, you know, gonna cut that grass? I'm cutting my own grass. No, I, you not, no, bro. You don't know the feeling of looking at straight lines in your yard, knowing you did it. Hey, I know the feeling. Right. See, in New York, they ain't got no grass. <laughs> y'all nope. ain't got no y'all. Yeah, they listen, got concrete. we wrote a whole they book. Sweep. They about go to the rooftop to play yeah, outside. Yeah, listen, man. We wrote a, there's been a whole book, a number one New York Times bestseller of a tree growing in Brooklyn. Really? There's a book called A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Yeah, cutting grass. Because we don't get a lot of those. The smell of fresh cut but, grass. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's best different. thing ever. Y'all lying, bro. I'm telling you. Nobody, so in this 90 degree weather, you won't go out and cut, cut grass? No, you have I don't to cut wait my to, grass see, now. that's how we know you're not a true yeah, grass. No, you don't, don't cut no grass. Because you have to cut it early or at the sun in the set. I'm not cutting no grass, dog. Because you take your butt out there at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, you're going to be called the ambulance. First of all, I can't even get no straight lines. So, So being a country girl, what was it like growing up in South Carolina? You in Hopkins. I'm in Hopkins. Where the hell is that? What is that near? Um... I, and you have to be the prettiest girl there. No, we have a lot of pretty girls. And bad girls, don't sleep. like personality, don't personality pretty, or oh. yeah, <laughs> pretty. Oh, like, don't like sleep pretty, on Carolina. It's a lot pretty. of bad girls. I don't in Carolina. Carolina. And I'm from Hopkins. You know what? <laughs> what I like appreciate about country girls in smaller towns, like, cause we so like forgot about. Mm. Um, we really are talented. We really are beautiful. And when we go to bigger cities, we get this reaction right, right. here. So it's like a. Mm -hmm. I think it's maybe because y'all. It seems like like country girls are a little bit more down to earth and cooler. Yeah, I, I City definitely girls agree be with that. I you know definitely agree with that. They be detained, so they don't really. Because I don't. It's 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 a certain type of female that I really can't tolerate. So I know as a man, like it's got to be hard for y'all to deal with because y'all yeah. have to. Because most of the city girls. Are real ass bitches that give a fuck about a nigga. It's country girls like that too, though. Yeah. So, uh, so do you? Are you a cooker or, or what? Yes, I cook. What you cook? Anything, whatever. 
I cook for my kids. Okay. So How many kids you got? My, I have two kids. I have okay. a son and a daughter. Okay. Yeah, they're 11 and 9. Got so grown I ass kids. Kid. I do. They grown. Baby daddy, <laughs> so, so does baby daddy be trying to get back? No. Not, not, so wait, wait till you get some money. Cool? Not because he doesn't <laughs> want to, but because he know it won't happen. Right. Okay. Are y'all cordial, though? I try to be. Mm. So true, what's, true what, how do you think this is going to pan out when you become, we, we speak it in existence, like when you become that big artist, like, would you help him? Would him? you buy him a car? I help, I mean, I've helped him. I'm saying with you. With you, I'm going to keep no, listen, with you. going to buy that nigga a minivan. Right. Uh, mm. Almost three years ago. Okay. Um, And you know, when he came home, we hadn't, we hadn't had a lot of contact while right. he was away. He was away for like almost eight years. Right. Um, and when he came home, like I, I looked out like that because regardless of whether we are friends, regardless of whether we're together or not, we still have kids together. That's respect. And I need my kids to see you at your best. Right. Or getting there. So whatever I can do to contribute. And I wasn't even, you know, big as an artist or anything yet. I was still stripping. Right. Um, you know, whatever I could do to help, if I can, I'm going to do that. Because if I, w- if I was in your position as my kid's dad, I would want you to do it for me. Right. Even though you may not. Right. But that's respect, because you know how, like, sometimes, like, you know, when a guy get on, he usually, typically usually take care of looking out of his baby moms. If, if he gets big or yeah. he go to the depending league. Depending on the or, dude, yeah. I mean, depending on the dude. But I mean, <laughs> majority of dudes, I can say, like, a lot of guys I know, I feel like they're decent enough. If they sitting on some M's, they be like, yeah. I got to make sure baby mama, because they got my kids yeah, looking good. Yeah. So it's, 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 I, that's it's, how I am. It's, okay, so it's the same way. Yeah, it's like, that's how I am. That's dope. I, I feel like my role is reversed. Right, that's hard. So tell me about Big Rennie. What Big can we look Rennie, for in this project? It's 10. It's 10 tracks on there. Okay. Um, and I tried to make sure they were, like, different. Like, it's a variety of things to pick from on there because I, this is my introduction. I, I want y'all to get to know me as a person, as an artist. Well, and I want y'all to understand that the person and the artist is the same right. thing. Like, it's not a facade. It's not, like, I'm talking about real-life situations in these tracks. Like, I'm talking about things that probably going on still right now. Like what? Somebody hear this song, they're going to call me like, I can't like what? believe you Tell put me something. that out. Like what? You know, just, you know. Give me an example. Because <laughs> if, if you went wrong on the track, like, you know what I'm saying? If you kept it funky on the track. Well, like, it's, wh- this, it's this one track on there, and it's called Switch. Okay. And um, when I recorded it, uh, me and my ex were, like, you know, going back and forth about some things or whatever. And it was, Baby Boy is, like, one of my favorite movies. Okay. So I took a little skit from Baby Boy and put it on the intro of the song. Okay. Which um, skit was that? It was like when Jody was cheating. Uh, like You cheating, Jody. <laughs> and the song is like basically saying like it's now it's my turn. Like I have to I gotta cut a switch on you. Right. Like I'm had to show you exactly what you've been doing, but not out of spite, just because it's time for me to move on. Right. Like don't come calling me when these same girls you was dealing with dealing with ain't there no more. Okay. What happened? Did he call you? We keep it cute. <laughs> 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 it's just like that big ass chain is cute. You know what I'm saying? We keep it cute. So uh, are you the type of person like you know what I'm saying? Like shine, like shine on little exes. Like like I got no. I got to sh- see. I'm not. I, I'm like. No, that. I'm not. I, 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 it depends. Chain. I will say this. I don't go out my way to do that. But right. if I'm ever put in a situation where I need to show you something, mm, you gonna do it? Yeah. That look just makes me feel like it's big Renny, <laughs> big Renny in the building. Ain't no little Renny. I try to keep that tucked away. Okay, so so top three songs is Big Rennie. Top three songs top three is songs? on the mixtape, on the album. To make them fall in love with you, what three songs they got to listen to? I fell in love already. Damn it, you ain't got to say nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Light 30. Light 30. A song on there called Light 30. Then I'm going to say Bike. It's a song on there called Bike. And like Bike B-Li-B Addict. B-Li-B like is actually like we featured bike. on Hey, that's okay, big. Shout out to yeah, B-Li-B. Shout out to B-Li-B. B-Li-B. Wolfpack. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to say... Darn, this is a tough one. That was some country shit right yeah, there. Yeah, darn. <laughs> that is a darn. Um, <laughs> it's just, they're just so good. Like, I really don't want to pick another one. Like, One more. Besides the single. All right, besides the singles that I put out. Yeah. Because I put three of them out already. Okay. All right, then I'm going to have to pick For the Love of the Money. So that one got Marlo on it. Okay. And that one is so dope because it's like really chill, but it's on some like real like player, Bonnie and Clyde kind of that's the kind of vibe it is. Right. Um, but it's not doing too much. It's something you just ride to and be like like uh, feeling yourself. Okay, okay. So have you have you in baby work yet? No. Soon. 
You waiting? I, we waiting I'm on that waiting. call? I, no, it's not a call. Um, cause you know that's my family. That's what fact. But um, when Baby and I do a song, I want it to be organic. Like right. I'm, cause I know that's gonna be big. Like, right. Is it going to be even bigger if it's like something that we both just come together on? Not just, hey, I got this song. Can you get on it for me? Not, no. I want it to be like when he walking past whatever room I'm in and he hear, hey, Rennie, I need to get on that. That Because then it's going to be like, you want to do it. Yeah, like, you want to yeah, do it instead that, of somebody action. The it. execution going to be a little different. On okay. that. So, so let me ask you this. There's a lot of talent mm -hmm. in North Carolina and even South Carolina. The Carolinas period. The Carolinas yeah. period. Like, I've been hearing names. And, and we I'm, going crazy right now. Right, so like name some some artists that, of course, you know Atlanta artists may not be aware of or are aware of already. But just put people on game on who's popping. All right, well everybody Carolina. already knows the baby because the baby is doing his thing right For now. Sure. He's from North Carolina. Okay. Um, you got Black Zach. Black Zach is from South Carolina. Uh, Skrilla, Stunner for Vegas, uh, DZ, Mister, uh, it's Rolo. That's a girl. She just started rapping. Um, yeah, it's so many. Jetson, he don't even rap. He, he's the producer. Yeah, like, yeah. it's just so many. Memphis Money Bags, he's another producer. Uh, it's a lot. Like, so, and, I, and I love that we are getting, like, the recognition or, or being looked at right. right now because it's some of these guys been rapping, you know, for a long time, and it ain't that they ain't good. It's just we so small. Right. Like, and... You could feel like you got your whole city behind you, and that's a lot of people. But when you c comparing that to somebody from Atlanta who Boy, got their whole city behind them, you're going to get outshined every time. So just to have the eye on you and people even paying attention to it, like I'm rooting for everybody in, in the Carolinas right now. That's salute. Salute. So look, let's do a little segment real quick. It's called You Can Get It. Okay. One male in the industry, one female in the industry, who can get it? Rihanna. She can get it. Okay. She can get it. Okay. Um, can I just pick females? Nah, I heard nah. you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta shoot your shot. Oh, okay, and males. <laughs> what guy? What guy? You might, they might not be able industry? to get it, but in what industry? It don't, it don't even matter. It don't even matter. Do we want to do? We no want? sports. No sports. Okay, cool. That works for me. Um, she like, oh, I want to shoot my shot. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad bitch. He's a bad bitch? Yeah, he called himself the, like a bad bitch. ASAP Rocky. Oh, I'm about to say that's <laughs> Okay. ASAP. That's pretty. my dog. He's pretty. You call him pretty? He says it. I be that he's pretty a, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, but I'm saying she's like. He's she's very really comfortable just... in his, his his pretty handsomeness. Rocky cool as shit. He's super cool. Solid nigga. Yeah. He Look. a Libra. I'm a Libra. Like them I'm New York niggas. I, I feel you. Libras. Libras. Like <laughs> New Yorkers. So let's do this, like man. That. Let's go ahead and introduce this new single. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. What's up? It's your girl, Rini Rucci, and you are about to listen to my new single, F Em Up, Sis. When it's come on, y'all better get nasty with it. There it is, man. Rini Rucci, ladies and gentlemen. Daddy boys, how was up now? 